That's 1.6 million, but that looks much more like 0.6 million to me. on Zhao in the small blind with 4-5. He, of course, has a lot of incentive to knock out another short stack of his stack. So he'll make the call. And, well, Patrick Antonius with Kings in the big blind. Easy jam for him to put Zhao to the test. Patrick does move all in, protecting Greenwood. <coughs> you can see Sam will need some help here with his ace deuce against Patrick. But he does have an ace. One over card to. And then even's pair. And wow, what a flop. He does flop the nut flush draw to go with his overcard. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Back in the game. <laughs> well, turn a five. No good. He will need an ace <clears throat> or a diamond on this river. And this time he does make his diamond flush. So Sam will. Uh, a little bit more than triple up in this pot. Sergio then kicking this hand off with a raise. King 9 2 under again, and well. Sam, all in for about three million again. Ace Jack for third time, all in against Sergio's King Nine. He's quickly spinning up his one big blind stack. And 9-7 deuce. Sergio does outflop Sam. Yet again, he will need help going into the turn and river. The turn a five. Left with just the six outs. Or he will be out of this tournament. And it is the ace on the river. Sam Greenwood doubles up again. For the third time this final table. And it is the Frenchman's turn to move all in this time. 3.7 million the bet. And well, Sam Greenwood just said Kings have been unlucky so far at this table. And then it looks down at Kings. Is that an omen on himself? See, the Frenchman will be at risk of elimination here. Alan? And, oh, <laughs> they're so laughing. He said, Kings have been unlucky. Let's see if that run ends here. <laughs> or will John double up? If he had, like, uh, you know, if he had, like, jacks or something, I'd be feeling good, but... Well, John will need help. And well, Jack 5 3 2 heart flop. Yet again, Kings are up against an overcard and a flush draw at this final table. Well, look at that. John's just sitting down like he's already won. He's seen enough. Well, uh, turn of three. Back out of his seat <laughs> once more. We'll need that ace or heart on the river. And it is the queen of hearts. John Noel doubling up with a flush on the river. And, well, maybe Sam Greenwood should have listened to himself before that hand. Kings have been unlucky at this table. Mm, 
Well, Sam does move all in from the small blind with Queen Fort. Sergio will make the call from the big blind with Jack Seven. Once again, it's the Canadian at risk of elimination. And I think this is the fourth all in between these two players now. Flop, Queen, 10, 7. Both players with a pair, but Sam, of course, with the top pair. Sergio will need a jack or a seven. Vivid is the deuce of clubs. No help to Sergio. Jack or a seven, or he will double up Sam once again. And Rivet is a king. Sam will still be below 10 big blinds, but a little bit more breathing room and, more importantly, some folding equity. Chance to play again from the small blind here with 8 6. Blinds still 300, 600. He limps in from the small. And Sam with 19 big blinds and ace four. He does check his option with his ace. And the flop. Ace, six, seven, Patrick, bottom pair. And some backdoor straight chances. Sam with top pair, though. And a somewhat disguised ace. As he would have raised you know, a lot of his bigger aces pre-flop. Sam does, of course, call the flop, allowing Patrick to continue in the pot with the worst hand. Turn king changes nothing. Small concern for Patrick, perhaps, if Sam had called with just king high. on to Greenwood and he's going to bet two and a half million into this 3.1 million chip pot going into the tank. All players on a 30 second shot clock, but they do have time extension chips. Patrick will make this call. He will need an eight or a six on this river. And the river, a queen. He finishes the hand with just bottom player and checks on over to Sam, who has a pot size bet back. Spade and club draws both missing. He's counting out a very large bet. Well, all but 25,000 chips. What to make of that? Sam has moved all but 25,000 of his chips into the middle. How much is the bet? Yeah, it's right. uh, seven, Perhaps hoping Patrick has exactly the kind of hand he does have, a seven or a six. With such a draw heavy board bricking out. Patrick knows Sam wouldn't make this bet size with a king or queen. 
is squarely an ace or better with this sizing. And as I earlier alluded to, Sam with a raise with some of his aces pre-flop. Patrick curious, maybe he's made two pair. Patrick there, Merlec to fold this one. He does have some better hands to call down here with. He does make the call. What a value bet from Sam. Getting a full double up. Well, I say a full double up, he left 25,000 chips behind. Patrick Antonius calling down with just the bottom pair. Sergio raising this one up on the button. Ace, six of spades. Sam defending from the big blind with his seven, six. Both players flop middle pair here. Sergio. Way out in front with his ace kicker. Sam, no option but the flat call here with middle pair. King on the turn brings a second diamond. Sergio, spot here. He knows he can bet and get cool with worse hands yet again. And he draws out there. And of course, he'd hope his opponent has a hand exactly like he does. Worst six. Does bet three million. Sam, like facing a bet on the flop, won't be as happy on the turn. But again, with a hand as strong as a pair of sixes here, no real option but to call. So the pot will swell to 12 million chips. The river, the deuce, it does go check, check. Sergio will be very happy to see the 6-7 as he pulls in this 12 million chip pot. Again, retaking the lead. Sergio looking the most likely at the moment to be that champion. 17. For those of you watching yesterday, Davide Katai overturned a massive chip deficit heads up to take down that 25k title. Sergio raising up 9-5 here. Sam defends with his king three. Queen 10, six to flop. Checking through, Sergio turns a pair on the turn, but Sam improves the top pair by the river. who will lead out for a bet on this river. Sergio 
Decision here with just bottom pair. Well, for the first time in his heads up match, he will use one of his time chips over this one. Well, Sergio made a valiant effort to bluff here, raising it up, but Sam going nowhere with his top pair. <clears throat> Action on Sam. He raises it up 2 million from the button with 8 3 a heart. Sergio, of course, defend his 10 9 from the big blind. 8 3 6 flop, huge flop for Sam. Eights and threes, but Sergio with two overs and a gut shot. Fireworks likely to ensue here. Sergio perhaps considering a lead out. Well, perhaps action is actually on Sam. Sergio must have checked instantly. 2.5 million the bet. 25. Sergio, of course, will call with his gut shot and overs. Well, the turn A10. Sergio now makes top pair. Sam still has two pair. Sergio destined to lose a lot of money in this pot. Of course, he can win with a 10, 9, 6, or 7. So Sam is f has far from got this one locked up. Nine million chips in the pot. Surely will bet again with two pair. Six six point six five. Six five million chips the bet. Function on Sergio. First time he's seen Sam take this line pretty much in this match. Right, with a hand as good as top pair and a gut shot. Surely won't be going anywhere. He does, in fact, make the call. And we had the biggest pot of our heads up battle so far 22 million in the middle. Sam with 18.1 behind. Sergio just 17 million behind. The all important river, King, completes the backdoor flush draw. Not a card either player will be happy to see. Sam deciding how much value he can extract from his opponent. All in. He goes for the maximum. All in. Enough to get Sergio out of his seat. Very hard for Sergio to call this one with the club coming on the river. Some of Sam's three barrel value range will include hands that did go runner runner for flush. He could, of course, have made a straight on the turn. And two pairs, all possible. Remember, Sam did limp in on the button to start this hand. And Sergio does make a good fold. Well, how unlucky am I if he's uh, yeah. if he's got quads? But um, worse, he's probably actually thinking like uh, you know he's, if it, if we're splitting, he would have fired again. Yeah. So, so for him to check now, following the 
It's either the way a bluff. He's played the hand. It was either stone cold bluff all the way, or, or he's got quads. Yeah. And so the first pot, Sergio's won since the break. Sam though with ace nine here on the button. Sam, of course, came into the final table with one of the shortest stacks, went down to that one blind. Now chip leader heads up. 2.4. He will minimum raise, 2.4 to play. Sergio will, of course, call with his jack 10. So yet again, these players going to the flop. And, well, ace 8-4, that flop all Sam. Sergio checks it over to the preflop raiser. Well, that will be the end of this hand. Sergio, having built his stack up a little bit, isn't going to want to get well, too involved. But well, he is suspicious. <laughs> Has he got a read that we're not aware of? Well, he may feel Jack High is still the best hand. He does have plenty of cards on the turn that would improve his hand, such as that. He does now pick up a double straight draw. This would be funny, wouldn't it, if Sam hit two pair? <laughs> King or nine would do it. Just about the best card on the turn probably would have been the Queen of Spades for him. Well, I fear this this could be it. I mean, I think if Sam bets here, Sergio may well check jam, or check raise at least. I think this could go all in, Simon. Really? Sam betting five million. Not many hands he can do that with and then call the shove. That's what Sergio's thinking. Attention leaders, in the southern line, we have the chip raise of the Andrew Bandit chips. Once again, chip leaders. Sergio, I do. Of course, if Sergio thinks that. Uh, Sam has got the eight rather than the ace. Then uh, he's got a massive draw, hasn't he? Well, he yeah, exactly. And Sergio does make the call with this double gut shot. And a king or a nine, and it is a ten. Now he might think that's good. And he checks it on over to Sam. Sam, I feel pretty confident his hand is best now. 17 million in the pot. Sergio has 14 behind. Moving into the tank. Still has time chips available. He does move all in. Well, it's a tough spot for Sergio here, isn't it? If he thought that. Uh, Hitting a ten or a jack might be good as well. Well, if it, yeah, that's it. He's, I mean, he beats the draws still. He knows Sam isn't making this play with a queen or or a ten as well. He would check those back and get to showdown. He beats the straight and flush draws. It's certainly a tough spot for him. But Sam hasn't made taken this line. Oh, he has oh, made he has the made call. The call. Sam is going to win this ace nine. What an incredible run from one big blind when there were five players yeah. all the way through to this heads up with Sergio. And somehow he has spun it up to one million euros. Well, Our winner. Pretty incredible. Sergio, I think a bit shell shocked. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a tough spot for Sergio, isn't it? It's as, as I said on the turn, he might think the tenor jack is also good and uh, walks away from the table. He's a bit frustrated. Played very, very well. Sam Greenwood is your winner of the 50k super high roller here in Casino Barcelona, taking home a cool 1 million euros.